same time, an Auditor General's report on supplementary budget expenditure has revealed how the government spent 147 billion shillings without the National Assembly's approval. The report by Auditor General Nancy Gadongu shows that a total of 595 billion shillings was irregularly withdrawn from the ex exchequer over the last nine years, a practice, the auditor says, diminishes trust and confidence in the government and increases the risk of corruption and wastage of public resources. Our very own Seth Olale reports on details, the queries, the raised, the raises by the Auditor General on the unsanctioned withdrawals of billions of shillings in key ministries such as Treasury, Health and Education. Take a listen. Auditor General Nancy Gadungu has raised alarm of a continued increase in withdrawals of funds under Article 223 of the Constitution that allows Treasury to spend funds before seeking the approval of the National Assembly. A report by the Auditor General shows that the unsanctioned withdrawals has increased over 13,000 percent during the 2022-2023 financial year with a total of 147.3 billion shillings withdrawn irregularly. What is appalling is that in the last year of the elections, 147 billion Kenya shillings was spent without the authority of parliament. So we have a situation where parliament has been unable to approve some money spent. The special audit report revealing that 5 billion shillings for recurrent expenditure and an additional 2.8 billion shillings for development expenditure requested by five government ministries, departments and agencies were approved by the controller of budget but were not disclosed in the information submitted to the National Treasury. In addition, six ministries and departments incurred expenditure totaling 47.2 billion shillings, which was over and above the amount approved by the National Treasury as additional funding granted under Article 223 of the Constitution. The report revealing that some government ministries and departments exceeded the 10% threshold of the appropriated budget, thus flouting the Public Finance Management Act 2012. The auditor highlighting flaws in purchase of shares by the National Treasury during the financial year 2022-2023, during the financial year 2022-2023. The report, despite the government releasing 6.3 billion shillings to purchase shares in Eastern and South African Trade Development Bank and Africa, Export Import Bank, Afrimix, there is no proof of the procurement. The auditor stating, and I quote, our request on Eastern and Southern African Trade Development Bank shareholding has not been responded to date. As a result, we were unable to confirm purchases of shares and to determine whether there were any benefits that may have accrued to the government of Kenya. The Auditor General also flagging 7.4 billion shillings approved by Treasury for the Fertilizer E-Subsidy Program in September 2022 by stating that although the fertilizer had been distributed to farmers, the program may not have achieved its intended objective as the distribution of the fertilizer was not in time for the planting season. Another program being queried by the auditor is the 21 billion shillings funds meant for distribution of relief food for the financial year 2016-2022. The auditor general states that there were minimal guidelines on relief food distribution, failure to prepare and submit returns on food distribution, failure to fund authority to incur expenditure at the county level, and incomplete distribution lists. And we now find ourselves in a lacuna that uh, is occasioned by the constitution, by the silence of the constitution about the 223. And we would want, uh, because I cry for this country, that if that was to continue and to be allowed to continue, then we would have uh, our country going to the dogs completely. The audit irregularities extend to the Ministry of Health, where despite sinking over 500 billion shillings in construction of 17 health facilities, the auditor says, and I quote, 
most facilities were not in use due to various reasons, such as hospitals lacking the required infrastructure to install the equipment. In addition, hospitals were fitted with faulty equipment valued at 185 million shillings, while equipment worth 155 million were yet to be installed in the financial year 2022-2023. There are also audit queries regarding the 1.7 billion shillings used in the supply of city scans to health facilities after it emerged that CT scans machines in six out of 27 hospitals had expired. In the Ministry of Education, 13.5 billion shillings is in question over the capitation of grade 7 learners in junior secondary schools in the financial year 2022-2023 with a report revealing that 7,340 learners in 187 sampled junior secondary schools did not receive capitation. In addition, eight schools did not receive capitation, denying learners access to quality education. There are also added queries on the 2 billion shillings competency-based curriculum classroom construction project in that, in as much as the funds were meant for construction of 10,000 classrooms, there was poor workmanship in 215 schools at the time of the audit, with nine classrooms left incomplete, while 30 classrooms were not in use. The latest revelations from the Office of the Auditor General comes amidst calls for investigations into the current status of the national debt, as well as concerns raised by the controller of budget in regards to Treasury's involvement in national spending. Seth Olale, Citizen TV, at Parliament Buildings, Nairobi County. All right, thanks so much.